The bad news is that swine flu has now spread to every corner of the globe and the World Health Organization says every country in the world will be affected. The good news is that the behaviour of the virus isn't changing so far and most people have had mild symptoms. But urgent measures are being taken to fight the disease, which has killed around 800 people and infected too many others to count. And it's still early days for this global pandemic. The first human trials for a vaccine began this week in Australia, one of the worst affected countries. WHO says health officials and drug makers are trying to speed up production of a vaccine before the flu season in the Northern Hemisphere starts in the autumn. But it's taking time. You, of course, want to get out vaccine and as much vaccine as possible, as quickly as possible. On the other hand, there are certain things which cannot be compromised. And one of the things which cannot be compromised is the safety of vaccines. Drug companies will, of course, do well as the pandemic spreads. Makers of masks are also reporting brisk business as sales of thermometers soar. Here in Britain, a special hotline has been set up to allow diagnosis and prescription of drugs over the phone. The big concern for the World Health Organization, though, is the ability of poorer countries to respond to the virus. It says it's been promised 150 million doses for developing countries and that it's negotiating with manufacturers for more. WHO says that the swine flu virus is unstoppable, that it's the fastest moving pandemic there's ever been and it could still mutate into more dangerous form. Caroline Hawley, BBC News.